As we welcome you back in the studio, you can see you've been joined by Marty Cesario as it's time to unveil our 2013 preseason 4A and 5A top 10s. Let's open up with class 4A and we start at number 10 and it's Doug Johnson and those Longmont Trojans missing the playoffs a season ago. We have them at number 10. Number 9, it's Falcon. Of course, the Falcons are led by Kalen Balaj, one of the most highly recruited players in the state. From the West checks in at number 8. Of course, they'll have to replace All-State running back Derek Jackson. Dakota Ridge, another team that missed the playoffs last year, but returned a ton of experience and Denver Sal checks in at number six course Tony Lindsay and those rebels made that deep run to the state championship game last year. Marty you see the bottom half of the 4A top 10 your thoughts. Well I'm thinking one you got to respect the pedigree programs like Longmont sitting at number 10 coach Doug Johnson he's had his squads in the playoffs for you know consecutive years so many times this year a lot of returning starters he's got some big boys up front too like Andy Lee he runs 270 Connor McIntosh a 290 kid on the D line Falcon you have to respect because of Kalen Balaj. He's definitely one of our top three players in the entire state of Colorado. He's got some help too in, in Justin Barron who's a multi-skilled kid. He'll do everything including have impact on returns and then South. You know, much love to them for what they did last year. It was just a storybook season, and a lot of those kids are back. I think of Zach Lindsay, who's going to be a D1 player. Gervonta Tasco is a very fun fullback to watch, and then big Matisse Moore. He still looks good based on what I've seen over the summer on seven on sevens. He's a big kid. If he can get some, you know, some opportunities there catching the football, he's going to be dangerous. Yeah, we just heard from Tony Lindsay just moments ago and said, you can't sleep on Denver South. They've always had a ton of talent. They were able to put it together last year. Do not underestimate the confidence that gives a program when you're able to put it together one year you come back with some confidence and the talent Denver South certainly is going to be in the mix in class 4A. All right to the rest of the top 10 in class 4A Vista Ridge comes in at number five a Colorado Springs team of course they made a run to the 4A quarterfinals last year as did Ponderosa they bring back Dylan Spradling a kid to watch out for he does it all for the Mustangs down there Wheat Ridge at number three right around the usual spot for Reed Call and those formers always in the mix at number two Pine Creek tough start to the season last year. They bounced back, missed the playoffs, but they're going to be there here this year. And our number one ranked team in our preseason for a poll, the Monarch Coyotes. Marty, your thoughts on one through five. Yes, we did put Monarch, the defending champs, at number one. But you look at what Phil Bravo's team has coming back. They're still loaded. And oh, yeah, they returned nine starters on the defensive side. Yeah, they got a lot of those guys. Defense is always somewhere where I kind of let my eye go to is you talk about that Monarch running style. They always have defenders who make the stops they need to make. And then, of course, the running style, you know, that scheme with the double wing. Ethan Marks is back. This kid's a four-digit rusher for a couple consecutive years. If he's healthy all year long, which he wasn't last year, and they still won the state championship, things are going to look good for the Coyotes. I've been very impressed with Pine Creek from what I've seen over the summertime. During drills, seven-on-seven -seven camps, Avery Anderson back there at free safety. He just looks really good. He's a D1 kid. He has Pac-12 teams taking a peek at him. The quarterback situation, Tommy Lazaro, I mean, he's got zip on that football. He can throw and he's got guys like Austin Meacham who have some size to him. The passing game, which might be a little different for us for Pine Creek, really looks solid to me. And Wheat Ridge, you know Reed Call. He always has guys. They play two ways, but they're usually up for the task. He's got kids like Tanner uh, Weakland and Avery Mason who, who are just studs. And, and again, it's the Farmers. They've got a couple of championships. They've been there another time at the big stadium on NFL turf. You have to respect the farm. Yeah, man, again, the usual suspects always seem to be in there in class 4A, and they are here this year in our preseason top 10 poll. 